Drinking wine from a mug is, is, a, is a mood. Oh. Oh, well, that's a start. <laughs> It wouldn't be a yay stream without some technical difficulties. I'm not sure I'm significantly less entertaining on my own. You'll have to mine. No. Okay, yeah, so um, Steve's mic's broken and he can't get it working, so... God, I'm not carrying this. I, I'm not carrying anything. <laughs> I'm neither emotionally nor physically strong. Did you have it working before? Oh, very nice. Um. Steve impression? I don't know if I can sound that sudden. So I'm wearing the Wintermark hoodie that Jamie gave me, which is very nice. It's the most entertaining thing I can think of right now is to show people my cute hoodie. But I really like it. Jamie gave it me because he's a filthy defector. But... Win. I did write the scathing letter, yes. <laughs> I didn't realise how harsh it was until you read it, like, out loud, and I was like, ooh. Am I cutting out for anyone else, chat? Is it my... Echo I'm echoing, apparently, Steve. <laughs> this gin's gonna be gone by the time we get the sound working. <laughs>
What is the monarch of biscuits and why is it a party room? <sighs> What's my favourite biscuit? Do you like a jammy dodger? Hmm. Also really like dark chocolate digestives, they're a good biscuit. Chocolate. I don't like the chocolate covered hobnob, but the chocolate chip hobnob is a really good biscuit. A what dodger? <laughs> a jammy dodger with an alternative filling. Why would you mess with a jammy dodger? <laughs> Leave it alone, it's good. Oh yeah, I think they do apple ones now. Apple jammy dodgers. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that looks like it's working. <sighs> Technically, most of what's in the glass is orange juice, yes, so this is completely allowed. Can we hear me now? We can hear me now. Steve voice. So, Streamlabs, in all its wisdom, deleted my mic and then wouldn't let me select it again. Because, you know, today wasn't shit enough as it is. <laughs> Nothing needs to be easy at the end of the week. Okay, now. Right. So, yes. Yeah, Streamlabs. Very much, Al. Very. Very much. Beth was carrying it. She was doing well. Um, was so, yes. The stream has started. Nine minutes later than intended because of fucking things. I shouldn't have I said on Kaz's stream that I wasn't having any more technical issues. There are so many different words I could use to describe this at the moment. None of them pleasant. <laughs> Hi, Max. Uh, so, uh, where are we? So, you'll notice something has gone from up here. Uh, we have paid for five tickets, and next month, another ticket, because of the way Twitch works. So it gives us, it, the, it does everything on the 15th from the month before, so go figure. Um, the five, There are five people who w do care work or work for the NHS. I have got all of their PIDs, and they will all be receiving the tickets when Matt Pennington gives me the open tickets. Uh, on my account, so that's all good. So we have Yay. done really, really well, and there'll be another one uh, next month. So fantastic! Good job, everyone. Stuff. So well done, everybody. Um, what's the next goal? I want to. No, I don't. See, I was jokingly saying that I wanted an Xbox One X, um, and people and lots of people have been saying to me um, I should do something for me for once. Because in all the like the years that I've been the two years I've been doing this, it's been for everybody else. So people have been saying I should do something for me for once. Um, yep, I agree. I don't want an Xbox anymore. I went around and had a look at them yesterday. They were all shit. <laughs> Just say the PlayStation Five is very good. It's very very good, and I oh, really like it. Yeah, but the PlayStation Five is just. Yeah, no, but I want it all. I want. I've, I've got an Xbox. I've got a PlayStation. I've got it. Steam. I've got everything. So you've got a PlayStation Five. It does everything. <laughs> um, get private medical? No, no. It's NHS doctors that you just taken away from the NHS. It's about to get Jeremy Kyle. No, it's not. Maybe a little. Um, <laughs> I want it all, and I want it now. Indeed, indeed. Um, I don't know. I'll have a think about something. That I fancy, and then we can go from there. But oh, maybe an Xbox. <laughs> good. Um, the next, the big thing that I want to do for the community is I want to get another tent to give away. So, yeah, so a four meter bell tent to get to do as a giveaway would be really cool. 
I think. So that'll probably be the next one I do. See, I'm just as grumpy as, as Bob is at the moment. <laughs> and I just realised Bob's missing off off screen. There he is. Bob. So, yeah, so I think another, another bell tent to give away. We've done one already, and that was amazing. So let's do another one um, at some point. So... Yeah, play a social. I'm gonna do after E4. We're gonna call it the feast. Yeah. And we'll have a hefty fam first, and then others after. Uh, and that. So, yeah, there's plenty of stuff that we can do. There's always stuff we can do, and we know that as a community we can do it. Um. I can't think of anything else to talk about with that because it it it's been a long old day. Um. Based in Glasgow. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a long... I mean, considering I'm right on the south coast, uh, it, would, it would probably be uh, somewhere here. No, I, I don't know. It needs, all needs to be planned. I've got nothing planned for it yet, So, but we will get there. Um, You've, got long, You've yeah. got long enough, I think. Sorry? Long enough. You are really quiet. Why are you so quiet? Oh, I'll turn you up here, see if that helps. That should hopefully... Am I really help. loud now? Yes, you are very loud now. That's great. Good. <laughs> uh, I know when you will DM. Cool. Uh, question. Is there anything you didn't get a chance to do at E1 that you are looking forward to do at E2? That's a good one. That is a good one. How dare you, Matt? start the stream how dare you good sir anything outside of wintermark didn't get to leave wintermark enough which i kind of knew going in like i expected that but um there was a lot going on in wintermark i don't know about 80 percent of what happened in wintermark mm. and i know even less about what happened outside of wintermark so yeah i took you Basically to the navar <laughs> yeah we went we went there were camps I didn't even go to, though. I, w I went to most places, but I don't think I went to Highgard, and I don't believe I went to Urizen either. Um, You're not missing much. <laughs> to be honest, but... Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's going to be plenty for you to, to do. So, how was how was E1 for you? Um, it was really good. Uh, I came kind of came home with like you know sprained ankle feeling terrible which then turned out to be coronavirus yeah and i just had a really tiring cold and physically unpleasant weekend and i came back and i said all this to my partner and then after i had finished saying that i said and it's still the best thing i've ever done good. it was amazing it was so good i i oh, yeah yeah i had a really good event so how did how did it uh, shape up comparing to so because obviously on in the hefty fam and on the streams and on YouTube and stuff there's a lot of talk of like building things up for people mm -hmm. and there's something that I was really worried about was um, building it up too much setting the expectations mm -hmm. too high how did you find it all I mean I think I I was a bit worried about that myself so I think I made an effort to kind of downplay it. A it in my own mind might not have done the best job i was still incredibly excited about it but uh, i i did kind of work on that but having gone i would suggest that it's possible that you can't build it up too much because it's the best thing ever <laughs> well you're not wrong um so what was learned about well a question from john what was learned about comfort and being comfortable um, I should have paid more attention to what I know about myself. So, so when you go, just know yourself and your own body and your own limits. Because I had kind of been listening to advice, but I was listening to advice from, you know, kind of 100% able-bodied, um, not necessarily any health issues people. And when I got there, I found that actually what I ought to have done was think about how this relates to my thyroid and the fact that it's broken. <laughs> um... So something that I personally should have done was to make sure I could be warm at all times, which I most certainly was not. And the wind was awful. Apparently the yes. wind was particularly bad. Yeah, the wind um, was bad. And you missed a meet-up to collect a sleeping bag. I did. 
I know. I kept looking for you, but I saw you once. <laughs> I'm really good. I went to sleeping bag. This hoodie saved my life. You are aware like... that there was uh, someone who had bought a lot more stuff than he needed, and was based like thirty was meters it you? away from you. <laughs> was I was literally you? just sat there with. I had two cloaks on the floor of my of my uh, tent. I had blankets. I had other. I had another sleeping bag. I had um, everything. I mean, I kind of collected stuff, and I ended up kind of sitting around the fire with several blankets, kind of a cloak, and then a blanket and stuff like that. But yeah. what I found really helped was going inside someone's tent, and they had a stove. Yes, that was the that was the best thing to do. I, Obviously, I, that's not possible always, but well, I think our seven meter will have its stove next event, so we are going to be too warm in that tent and we've got a proper think... gazebo fitting now so when we'll have the seven meter with a stove in it we'll have a proper metal frame with the tarp over it as well with rope and it will all be guide down lovely uh so there is no excuse for any for you or anyone not to at least go come to places to ask for help and stuff like that so um <laughs> i'm not saying it's your fault but it's your fault <laughs> Naughty Beth. It's my fault. It's all my fault. That makes a difference from in character when it's all Max's fault. Yeah, basically. So it's not often I get to throw shade. Yeah. <laughs> I also learn. I learn why. Kind of when you, before you you go as a new player, you're learning things you're like oh what, winter, winter solstice. Like it's a bit weird. It's April, and then you go and you're like that's why it's winter. Yeah. That's why it's winter. It's normally fine during the day, and then you get to the night, and it's yeah. This is why yeah, I, to... I basically nearly froze my ass off waiting for the Krampus. The Krampus got bored with us and he left. Well, it, I didn't it, have a choice. Well, <laughs> he, it, we had all, we had everyone at our fire was, um, was a brand new player, and he asked the question of like, what have you done in the past that was like you could change? And it's just like I was the only one there who was an who was a an experienced player. It's like, well, I'm the only one who can answer that, and I'm not going to, <laughs> basically. Uh, so, yeah, so he left, which oh, was fine. Krampus is um, uh, unnecessarily cute. I genuinely think the Krampus is a little bit adorable. Like, scary as well. The claws are scary. But, like, I don't know. It's very... It's cute. Just, just want to give the Krampus a snuggle. <laughs> the Krampus a snuggle. Mm -hmm. That'll be interesting. I think to see. I think you'd die if you tried. But yeah. no, I mean I'm pretty sure the Krampus has already been murdered twice. So you know that that's how the Krampus rolls. And uh, you could try to kill the Krampus, but I, I I'm pretty sure people have succeeded quite a lot, but he keeps on coming back because he he doesn't know when he's not welcome. Basically, I think the Krampus is very welcome. I think people in Wintermark really like the Krampus. And it wasn't something I knew a lot about before I went. But then, to be fair, I was talking to... Um, I spent a lot of time uh, talking to the... I can't remember what they were called. Shall but they're, they're basically the equivalent of the Herald for the Krampus. They're not a Herald. That's not yeah. what they are. But it's the equivalent. The, the, represent, the, um, sec the Krampus is secretary. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Who obviously really likes the Krampus. Maybe that's where that comes from yeah yeah plot twist. Uh, thank you bolum that's uh yeah that's a big one that one i can't wait for that to come out in play and then for the krampus to get murdered a lot no i will protect huge. krampus yeah, I'm, I'm team team shaman i'm afraid on that oh. one team shaman well that was why i had to meet the krampus because the shaman yeah. um i so without getting to you know I see. Um, basically, uh, the shaman asked me to go speak to the Krampus mm. and gave me very little choice in the math. So um, I kind of went off investigating the Krampus to see, you know, what I was getting myself into. And I went to the Anvil Library where I found some very interesting fiction about the Krampus, which was not useful, but still fun to read. Mm. And then uh, I spoke to the Egregore, spoke to some other people, um, and by the time it got to meeting the Krampus, I was a lot more scared of the Shaman 
than I was of the Krampus. Yeah. I mean, there's loads of stuff. Uh, yes, well, I, I've got um, I've got a box of wine. I've got I'm drinking a mug of wine. Uh, from my my dream my dream woman. Right there, isn't she? Isn't she beautiful? Mm. Isn't she lovely? You know, um, a mega pint of wine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So yes, you can blame your Krampus for your character's backstory. That's all good too. <laughs> Rip the box open and suckle from that bag. Max, <laughs> don't tempt me, sir. Don't tempt me. So so were you when you how did you find things then when you when they called time in on the Friday? Uh and that, what how did you get yourself into the game? What did you do to come and get involved? One thing I think I might do next time is um for I can't remember what the reason was, but I had had to go back to my tent, to my, like, OC, in, in OC camping. And so I didn't walk back onto the field until after time in. It was about five minutes after time in, and that really helped. Because yeah. it was just like you were, you were to physically move yourself into character. <laughs> um, mm. So, yeah, I, I, I just, I put Inga's clothes on, I put Inga's makeup on, and that was it. She was there. She's, you know, it's first character, so she's kind of similar to me in some ways, which helps. It's like less of a transition, you know. Yeah. So, when you when you came into the field, then what is it you went off and did? What did you? I went straight to the hall. Went straight to the straight hall. Straight to the hall. So this was all. This was pre-planned, was it? Then you were. I just figured people would be there. I think. Um, I can't remember if we had pre-planned to me at the hall but i don't think we had i think i just went i'm going to go to the hall because yeah. those are my friends and the people that i know and the people that i can do things with you know yeah um i think it was that evening that i queried them about uh my letter i didn't show anyone the letter that mac wrote to inga's mother but i i kind of um i had to make inquiries and so i started at the hall it's like is anyone does anyone know what this person might be um and uh, no nobody did but eventually toddy came up with the lead that liam liam told you about mm. that was good uh, that was good yeah. uh i don't think i was i was anticipating you not finding me until sunday though i wasn't either but i was given very little to go on so <laughs> well that was the point but it was, um, I mean, the thing is, I was doing other things as well, like, you know, shitting myself about having to meet the Krampus, so, <laughs> uh, so um, that took up a lot of time. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to think that your no, no play will ever be, ever be put under the duress of doing something that they don't want to do, or they find yeah. themselves uncomfortable. Um, but for me, um... Jesus Christ, Mark. Thank you so much, buddy. Gifting five subs. Gorka, uh, Kazaran. Hey, Kaza! Uh, Larkbeard and Idola. Uh, wow, that's awesome, man. Thank you so much for that. And Foam Fox, yes, very excited for E2. Thank you so much, buddy. Share the love indeed. Share the love indeed, my friend. Um, yeah, I, I, I've always thought that it's good not this find your line and then every now and again just take a little step over it just to try to do something yeah. new and i think that's what the shaman was for me yeah. um it was i'm so so yeah i feel really lucky actually beth feels very lucky that um she kind of got the raw end of the deal with the shaman giving tasks to people because she mm. got the scariest one <laughs> yeah um but it was really good because A, it gave me something to do, something to research. I yeah. don't think I would have known that the Anvil Library existed mm -hmm. um, if it weren't for that. Um, Not many people And it was do. really good to feel, you know, I mean, it, it's like going on a roller coaster. It's like you feel scared, but in a good way. You know? So did you feel that you were like quite heavily involved in stuff from the off then, did you? Actually, I felt much more involved in self-involved <laughs> felt like there was a lot more going on for Inga than, than Inga was doing for other people and I, mm. I was expecting to kind of go and do things as a group yeah. and with my friends um, but I ended up 
kind of doing a lot of personal stuff, uh, like finding Mac and dealing with the Krampus. Although, Fenice was supposed to help me with the Krampus, but she disappeared off into dawn, so. <laughs> wow, yeah. Hi, Tony. Um, good to see you, bud. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. I mean, I think a lot of people think... Um, through met briefly at E1, I was the changing from Navarre going to Wintermark with portents of doom after horrific. That was so visions. good. Yeah, we were, that, that we were was great. About those visions. I, I had the, I had that vision seven times. <laughs> due to things. was it um, was it you, um, Phone Fox, who had the blood on the snow, or oh, not not explicitly blood on the snow, but something that might have indicated blood on the snow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they they came around uh, Saturday evening. It was really yep. cool because everybody was really around cool. our fire because there was like twelve of us. It was just like, oh, what does all this mean? What does all that mean? I was just like, mm -hmm. I had this meeting this morning. <laughs> it's like, I had this. I really come on, catch up. But no, it's really, really good. Really, really good. I love it when people um, get the visions and come o come over to do to get involved in our stuff. Because it's, well, we need all of this help. It's like, can you do this? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go and take more drugs now, I think. But I like haven't took any drugs thing. at all this event. And I was really, um, I was ho I, need, I need a new drug buddy, I think. Because I don't know if Trot's coming yeah. back anymore. Which is sad. Talk to Ingvar. Actually, I don't know if Ingvar could be tainted with drugs so easily. We'll have to find it out. It takes a very special <laughs> individual. So yes. they have they've got a lot to prove, and um, I've had one person uh, try to fit the bill so far, and um, but yeah, I don't trust her as far as I can throw her. I could probably throw her quite away. She's quite small. She's in Ashen Hall, <laughs> so she's in the the new Calavesi. She's awesome. Uh. Yeah. Um. Oh, there was a really cool Suak meeting. Like sh shortly after time in, they kind of just rounded up all the Suaks to talk about Suak things, and that was, was really cool. Were they talking about why they're dicks? No, <laughs> we were talking about Surma Suak and how we want it back <laughs> and how we're gonna get it back. Um, which Inga was very, very interested in. Although she didn't say much because this was like right after time in, and I was still like, you know, yeah, See muted. Yeah, but it's like Summer Suak. No one really cares. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How dare you? Well, quite easily, um, it turns out. But so <sighs> you 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 were so you had a lot of stuff going on around you and your character in the end. And so so it's not. I mean, this is the good side of it because Empire doesn't really have. Uh, I mean, it's got a lot of plot that goes on. But the personal plot and stuff like that that's going on around you is the stuff that you make up for yourself. Mm. So did you have uh, like contacts with people already that you were going off to meet and, and all of these sorts of things? So sadly, I didn't get to see Kaylin at Anvil. F in chat for Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was one friend that, that Inga didn't get to catch up with, which was quite sad. And then she found out about Kaylin and um, she was kind of sad but she was like oh I, I need to I kind of <coughs> made up some excuse like oh I have to go and chat to, to some random Corsair about something unrelated because Beth needed Andrew to know yeah so um, Mike was meant to be on tonight um, but uh, essentially he uh, was double booked so he he's out getting smashed instead I mean and we're in getting smashed <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so his character was killed and it's, Sorry. it's weird because I heard of a few people I know from the Hefty fan whose characters were killed. I laughed. At mo at, I'd say 99% of them, I laughed when people's characters were killed because essentially in my mind, I mean, people in chat may, may disagree, but for me, it's like, oh, you're getting your first death out of your way quickly. This is good. Yeah. Because they've essentially you've spent two years getting attached to this character you've played once, and then you've died, and it's like, okay, well, it's gone. Just make your new character, and then it won't hurt as much next time. I mean, who am I kidding on that one? Because my first character I played for five events, 
and Mac I've now been playing for like nine years. So seven seven to nine years, something like that. And it's yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna retire from LARP when Mac dies. Um, I think character death I, having never never been through it you know from like an unknowing point of view it seems very very sad but also quite almost cathartic it seems like people are like okay mm. time to live a new life you know yes yeah so kit when his character died he was able to he was terminal but he was able to walk back to andor hence the song at song of stories and um uh yeah, and then like his little funeral and him, his family carrying him off to chuck him in a field and nick his stuff, because that's what the Navarre do. It's um, you kill it, you bought it. Yeah, basically, uh, whatever monster kills Mac will rule the empire. Them's the rules. It's not yeah. very nice thing to call Inga a monster. Well, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> Jesus Ryan Choco Moco Latte. Twelve months. You crazy fool. You're hey. a crazy, crazy bastard, you. It's, yeah, I mean, character death is an interesting one. Um, I'm really scared of it, but then I also have this whole, like, list of characters that I want to play in future. But, um... Oh, yeah. I'm not, like, I'm not rushing towards it, because I think I want a bit more just roleplay experience. Yes. Before... Essentially acting experience, because, you know, it's a skill that you learn. Yeah. Um, I'm doing my best, but my character is similar to me for good reason. <laughs> well, yeah, I think this is how a lot of people who start LARP, that's how they all start. They play something close to themselves because it's easy to do. Um, Cernanos was essentially me, um, just without the... Um, uh, hey, Mr. Doors Woods, sir. Good to see you, bud. Um... Uh, yes. What character ideas do you both have for the future? So, uh, Matt Dawes is a um, he is a uh, wiki food genius. He he yeah he finds everything. Nice. <laughs> so that's um, a nice skill. It it really is a skill. Yeah, if you need something on the wiki, then you got Matt Dawes. He knows. Yeah, he, find, he just finds it. Uh, I'm shit at the wiki. Um, I ask chat. <laughs> So, uh, Max says, I'm surprised on how much my first character death affected me. Had a cry while eating a Chinese after I came home from that event. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you're not, you're not going to be the only person who's ever done that, mate. A lot of people do. I know people who have had their character die, and I've been sat with them in their tent. And they've, just, and they've been bawling their eyes out. Because you've given, you're actually giving over yourself to this character. When Cernanus died, I cried. You... You, I think you become quite attached to them, kind of less as, less as an extension of yourself, and sometimes as more of a friend. Like I feel like yeah. I, I, I know her in a similar way as I might know another person. Mm. You know, does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, I like Mac less than I like my friends. Mm. I mean, I hate Mac as a person because he's a, he's an ass, but for Steve, he's quite cathartic. It's yeah. a it's a really weird one. Um, Matt's asked, uh, what character ideas do you both have for the future? So, um, Andrew just mentioned one, which is the Musker Queers. We've roped, we're going to rope Mike into this, although I'm not sure he's been fully, fully debriefed on the Musker Queers yet. It's basically the Musketeers. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to rip off a bunch of the BBC Musketeers series. <laughs> and we're going to go into the league, league and cause absolute mayhem. It's going to be great. A lot of uh, people are looking at going to the league next. It's worrying. I can't do it until I have the money because my plan is just to, to save up a bunch of money and then just give it Matt and Andy and be like, please make me a leaguer. <laughs> yes. Because I do not have the capability to do this. <laughs> and yeah. I need someone who does to do it. So that's so your next character is probably league then? My next character is going to be an orc. Probably. Ooh. Probably. The mask has not arrived yet. So I'm going to see. Yes. I, I need to sort myself out an orc mask. Um, uh, having I'm... never worn one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it for a whole weekend. Mm. But I'm hoping, because I have this character concept. And like, yeah, I can take, you know, a lot of elements of the concept and put them somewhere else in a different character who's not an orc. But I, 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 she just feels like she should be an orc, you know? Mm. 
everyone's next character is an orc. Mine's not. My next oh, character is yeah. a Varushkin. Ooh. So I want to be. Um, you'll be a Battenberg bastard first. No. Uh, yeah. I I had to be nice to the Batten to um, to those two in the league when they came over and threatened me because there was a lot of miscommunications with letters and all of this sort of stuff and then threatening me and I was just like I can't kill your characters now <laughs> that was basically it so I had to be nice but yeah yeah that was that was a weird one but it worked out really really well and I really liked it yeah Mac one feet yeah threatening to cut my foot off <laughs> not a good start um but at the end of the day they already had a crossbow and a knife I was armed, and I had people around, more people around me. But it doesn't matter. It were it worked out to be really, really good as a first meeting between them two. Um, and I look forward to this letter as well. More threatening letters I feel are coming my way. Letters are so much fun. Um, but yeah, Varushkin. I like the idea of playing Vesemir. I want to be an old storyteller who's been around and seen too much. So I might take that chance to play a non-com. Well, I'll, be, I'll have combat skills, but I will play as someone who's a bit too old for this. And then um, Musket Queer or Imperial Orc, the two genders. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. I was trying to... I can't think of any other play on those. Um, Makovic the Wise. No, I can't remember what I called my... Uh, Varushkin, but I like the idea of being just an old man who tells a lot of stories. He's experienced a lot. Um, I I don't think I'll ever play Varushka, but I aesthetically just I really enjoy the way that Varushka looks. I think it oh, looks yeah, yeah massively. Um, more Murta and Vesemir. Yes, basically, yeah. Take Murta from Lethal Weapon and Vesemir from The Witcher and just squish them together. Um, Andrew, your next character isn't allowed to be another Freeborn. Um, not if Inga and Ingevar are still alive. I'm sorry, you have to be a Wintermarker. Those are the rules. <laughs> yes. They're the rules that me and Mike made up, but they are. They made all them up this morning. Rules. Yeah. yeah. Um, do people sort their affairs out in the event of character death? Will you leave anything to your oh. many kids? Oh yeah, I was just going to say, uh, my, the character after Varushka, I am going to play an orc. Um, chatting to Matt and to, to Mark now about the little meetup we had. Um, I like the idea uh, of playing a reaver who enjoys pain and is like getting enjoys getting beaten up and is on drugs constantly and is just really off his face all the time. But that's the sort of thing I, I quite I quite like the idea of doing something like that because me and Matt did the stream and we were chatting about it and we just came up with this idea and it was just like I love this idea so um, a question in chat about um, the League and the Musketeers being off brief um, yeah the hats the hats specifically are off brief and we will probably not do the hats we might do a hat but it will will not be the Musketeers and hats um, we will be keeping as on brief as possible yeah that's cool that you saw that because I missed all of that um, oh, Castle. Oh, and. I yeah, like interesting. This character. And I couldn't have done it without your guys' help. That's awesome. Mm. Human Jester. That's fantastic. That's awesome. I, you'll have to let us know in uh, the Discord what you come up with, mate. I look forward to it. Um, uh, Inga, Inga has written a will. Just jumping back to sorting out your affairs. Inga has a will. Beth hasn't written Inga's will yet, but <laughs> Beth has a series of notes that will constitute Inga's will, which she wrote pre E1, pre Winter Solstice. Mm. For very specific reasons that I won't get into because, for obvious reasons, she's not dead. Um, but yeah, that'll be that'll be a fun one. It's been quite a lot of fun crafting it and deciding like what to do, especially because it's written post player events because I went to two player events mm. before a uh, mainline event. Um, so there's stuff in it for that, but there's stuff in it that relates to people that she met there, but not in relation to anything that happened at Anvil, which is fun. She might update it, but um, you know, if she dies in the next, if she dies this year, the will will be the will, and it 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 contains fun and shenanigans for people. 
But she won't die in battle, I know that much. Could possibly die in battle, although we were talking about the uh, the the uh, possibility of just hiding behind Mac. Mac, Mark, for fuck's sake, mate, no. That's a horrific thing to say. Uh, don't Sorry. read that out. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Please don't read that out. Um, Jesus Christ, man. I, um, I, I, I was definitely laughing at something completely unrelated, and that was not funny. <laughs> you are a bad person. You I are am a bad, bad person. person it's true, yeah. Um, you'd be a scummy little <laughs> reaver or WW pit fire. Yeah, something like Tricat, oh, uh, Tricorn hats are off breathe, as are the musketeer hats. Hi, Baz. Good to see you again, buddy. Um, I think, yeah, my will, I have a will. Um, I might set mine up to be a, basically, all my kids can come and uh, have a fight and whoever is the last one standing, they get all my stuff. That's a good idea. I like that. I think that's fun. So, yeah, because, yeah. And um, I like that particularly because... Um, all of Inga's skills are in combat because that's what she does. She just wants to sell cookies, kill Jotun, and get drunk. So you have never seen my real daughter have a fight. Because <laughs> I'd like to. <laughs> she will. She uh, Lily will actually be playing my in-character daughter as yeah. well, and she is vicious. I mean, and that's an understatement. She is evil. She hasn't learned how to hit people. She just stabs people. Even if it's not a stab safe weapon, she will stab you still. It's. She, we need to. T I'm trying to teach her out of this. Yeah, yeah. savage is an understatement. Um, but yeah, I, I think something like that. Or I might do a more personal will and write some individual bits out. Hmm. Um, so. Uh, but... My thing is. My thing will. Will be in possession of this this will i just think that makes the most sense you know when you've got a whole organization that you're a part of just make them look after it we're thinking of starting a library as a whole i don't know if this is something that okay. other halls do but we'd quite like to just collect a bunch of literature from the library and otherwise um I just yeah, one I think it's, really cool. it's all over the floor i'm a bad person um, yeah, library's That's a good fun. idea. I know that there are some halls out there that have their own little personal library, but yours will just be full of smut. Yeah, no, Inga will contribute smut, yeah. Yeah. I found <laughs> out, like, OC, that there was smut in the library, and I was really upset that I hadn't found out about this in character. <laughs> I can't believe I left smut in the library. Devastating. It, it, uh, I'm sorry, everyone, I'll have to move this, and because uh, it sounds like I'm peeing in a bottle. Um... I'm not that old yet. Uh, yeah, um, Matt said, I saw a fire hefty con. It was terrifying. She is vicious. <laughs> she is absolutely vicious. Um, Maybe she can help me get that. <laughs> she, um, yeah. I, I mean, when she passes her citizenship test, she'll be fighting in my unit. And she'll be... Oh, God. I feel sorry for the people who fight her. Because... She's still small enough to and, and adorable enough to go, no, I don't want to fight. And so people turn around and then she attacks yeah. them. Yeah. It's just evil. I like that. It's great. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, but you can't pull it off, though. It's smart. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we, we, we have to talk about it because we just, we just uh, have to, we have this to talk is about Jeremy it. Jeremy Kyle portion. Um... I had someone ask me what I'm, how my roleplay has is going to change now that you are about. Initially, my response was, "It's not. Mm -hmm. I'll still be the same person." But then again, it sort of dawned on me that when um, you see these shows of people who have been they've been carrying on through their life and they didn't know they had kids and then all of a sudden they've got son, daughter, couple of kids and stuff like that they turn up, their lives change I'm not going to make Mac responsible because that's just not him at all that, that would be absurd No, it, it's, a, it's, it's just pointless insane 
Someone get the lie detector. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> More of a DNA test, let's be honest. <laughs> um, but then again, though, Inga has Max temper. That's a yeah. that's a definite, and that's a really, really good thing. Because uh, someone asked early if, in if Inga had like picked up any traits from Mac, and it's just like, you don't really need to, because you've come in with a temper, and that works. Well, something that's interesting that I just completely hadn't made the connection until we were um, in character uh, role-playing together was when Mac mentioned like uh, kind of travelling, because Mac used to be Navari, mm. and uh, he kind of mentioned that urge to wander. And that was something that I had already put in Inga's kind of personality, like a long before I even spoke to you about being related. Um, mm. And I just thought that that had matched up really nicely. I thought I was like, "Hang on, yes, yes, I Inga do feel the urge to wander and have been doing. Thank you." Yeah. <laughs> so that was really nice. I feel like she inherited that because um, her parents are not like that. So. Your your dad is. Yeah. Her. Not your fake dad. You'll never be my real father. Yeah, I'm waiting for that one to come out as well. That'll be fun. Um, I'm going to have to work really hard to not do it in the voice because ever since Panda did it in that voice, I, I can't do it in any... I've never said it any other way. Yes, yeah, bad influence. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think I think my roleplay will change. Well, not so much my roleplay. My character will change a little bit because I have to take on board that you are now there. You are related. You are. You're not just my daughter, but you're also a member of the clan. Essentially, you're a member of the two feet. That's um, going to be interesting um, to see if Inga. I haven't decided yet if Inga wants to even acknowledge that the two feet exist. Really. <laughs> that'd be an interesting. Comment. I think I'd be more upset by you not acknowledging them than me as your yeah. dad. It'll be like, oh, okay, I can live with that. Don't come to me for money or help. But this lot are your family. <laughs> it's like, don't you disrespect them. Disrespect me as much as you want. Not them. I feel like she will, but it might take her a while to come around. Because, um, like I say, it's it's kind of a, a built-in thing. She she wants to travel. She's an explorer. Well, so, I look forward to seeing how Inga responds to the two feet then. Because I know that a lot of the two feet have already taken her side. Oh. So, yeah, R.I.P. Yondu, definitely. Um, but I got asked what would happen if, in a situation, or like someone came running over and just saying, uh, "Inga was in that charge. She's she's on the floor. She's over there." And the and like an orc line had charged and stuff. And so it's like, how would I react? And it'd be, it's like, I don't know. That's an interesting one. Yes. I think I'd have a look and see how difficult it would be to get you back. Yeah. Um, who am I kidding? No, I would be. I'd, I'd go Max. hell. Yeah, I'd go hell to leather to get you back. <clears throat> Max' whole thing is loyalty. Like Mac is. Yeah. Very, very loyal, and I, I don't think. I mean, I'm talking about your character, so essentially out of my ass. Please do correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't imagine him he, he, even. If they have any form of relationship, strained or not, I, I just can't imagine him not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he would. He would, uh, yeah, he would do anything to to make sure you didn't die there. Um, it would be, it would be a sad one. Um, oh my god, I just had a, a thought of me walking back through the portal, if you had died, carrying you. Oh, and your no. hall coming up to me going, oh, what happened? She got, we said we couldn't chase her and get her. I would wipe out that hall. I would kill everybody. I'm sorry if your hall's watching. Oh, um, but yeah, you, you don't want me angry. You don't want me <laughs> angry and stuff like that. I've done less. Um, so much less and so much more. But Jesus. Oh, that's, that's all hypothetical. This is all hyperbole. But it's... Um, <laughs> You wonder why all of Inga's skills are combat. It's because Beth's not very good at it, so... Just doing my best You're to keep it real. alive. Uh, how big is the Two Feet family? Um, big. We've got members in every single nation. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of the, lot of us out there. Um, 
So people who want to play in the nations and want to be in other nations and want to be in the two feet, you can. You don't have mm -hmm. to be Navarre. So we've got high, we've got two feet in high guard, Urizen, Wintermark now. Uh, Lee, I believe as well. So yeah, we're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, is it just Mac in Wintermark, Steve, or is there yeah. are there yeah, more members? Me. Just me, so I'm going to be the the start of it all. So if everyone else sort of like dies and buggers off around me, then I will make the two feet hall <laughs> in Wintermark, yeah. and then the family will start. So it'll be an interesting one. How can two feet be seven feet? Ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well done. Uh, so how did you how did you you find that? Because I was quite nervous about having. Um, you as my daughter. I was nervous because um, I don't know. I thought, is this you know, just gonna be like really cringe roleplay that isn't fun for anyone? <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Um, but it it was great. I don't do cringe. <laughs> um, and the other thing was we, you know, we were kind of like growing a friendship when when we arranged this but we weren't I wouldn't necessarily have said that we were there we weren't necessarily at friends mm. so it was also really like what if it turns out that that you know that I don't really like Steve or Steve doesn't really like me what if Steve was a cunt fuck what if because the thing was I already knew that Mac was a cunt wow yeah yeah but that's the fun of it I was like I want I want drama that's the whole reason I ask for drama well, you've got it. You got yeah. it. I, 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 it was really good. I, I said in my review that I really enjoyed that role play. Uh, we was weren't. Cool. It wasn't. I, I was, I was dreading you coming over, going, "You, my dad," and then like tears and stuff like that, because I'd have been like, "I have no fucking clue who you are. Go away." That's what would have happened, and then you would have done it. But um, yeah, Stephen, Stephen, and I hate each other, but our role play was fun. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Matt's a bell end. I, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable with him being near me. But we sat next to. Him. I allowed him to touch me once, right on my forehead. He touched me right there. Oh. Uh. I, I had to bathe for a week. Yeah. I love Matt. <laughs> um. But yeah. So I, 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 I was, I was a bit apprehensive. Mhm. Mm and I didn't know how you would take it if I started like shouting at you or something <laughs> but now I know you more it's like yeah I yeah I'm pretty, I've got pretty much free reign here oh yeah yeah so, um I think it would have been interested interesting if you had showered because I think she would have showered back but that's just not how it went at all it was all very like somber almost mm. um I I surprised myself with how completely thrown Inga was. Like, the whole thing just completely threw her off. I think it was because it had taken all weekend, and I had kind of gone into the summit thinking, this is my task for the summit. I'm going to find Mac, you know? Yep. Um, and then it just didn't pan out like that at all. So, because it had gone quite differently by the time it then got to Sunday, Inga was not in the place I thought she was going to be. Mm. So, yeah. It was just very, very serious. Yeah, I was I was expecting to come and shout initially. Uh, you came, you found me when I was coming out of a battle. That was it. Was good actually. Looking back, I think that was really that really helped. Mm. Um, because it was just a different kind of dramatic than what I was expecting. I wasn't like wandering up, you know, in the evening when you've had a drink. You know, they're both a bit drunk, and there's people around. It was very private actually yeah yeah i really liked the fact that you came over and you could see you wanted to be angry you could you could yeah. feel it like matt uh, has said there from the outside it looked like it was simmering and it could have blown up at any moment it was definitely there and it mm -hmm. was when a couple of people came up to me and were saying like shook my hands and said it was an absolute honor to fight alongside you and all of this sort of stuff and your expressions just changed Oh yeah, because I, because again, as Beth, I wasn't. That was not in the plan at all. So, nope. for someone, someone saying that to Inga is a huge 
thing because like that's that's her whole thing she's like we need to kill all the barbarians this is important and so someone kind of complimenting mac on that like immediately she gains respect for him you know worst possible time yeah, you can see you hated it, uh, Ryan. I remember unbuckling your armor at the same time. Yeah, so yeah, so you walked over, and I was essentially being undressed by two men. Yeah, as well. So, mm-hmm. and Ryan is not small at all. He is he is a good like five inches taller than me. <laughs> so that was really interesting, though. Like again, I, I you know it it was when Mac was physically taking off his armor. I feel like Mac was also taking off some of his emotional armor and that's what got us to the point where we were talking quite like in depth it it it, it was a bit symbolic mm. yeah um <laughs> oh john, no john john but yeah no! we'll, 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 cut, we'll ask that question in a second but yeah it was <laughs> we'll talk about it <laughs> it was it did go very well and I think it. I think it's led to the abuse. So I have started to write your letter back four times now. <laughs> the first time was basically me calling you out and saying you're an ungrateful sack of shit, <laughs> uh, and all of this. And then the other ones were very apolog. Like two of them were very apologetic, but I was like, no, that's just that's giving in too much. And then the fourth one, it was just like essentially denying you exist, like that. And I'm just like, I need to get all four of these into one, into- yeah, <laughs> somehow. So it's going to take a little while, I I think. Um, to be honest, I I am contemplating writing a letter and then just giving it to your Thane. And then just saying, you can give it to her. Say, I, I can't give two shits if she gets it or not. And then walk it off. Because I know your thing likes me. Because... Um, a c- cat likes Steve. I don't know if C- how Karina feels about Mac. <laughs> okay, I'll rephrase that. I don't care how your whole feel about me. <laughs> Mac doesn't care how your whole feels. Yeah, that makes sense. But I think it'll be interesting, that side of it. Um... It might involve me having to send my Thane over to have a chat with your Thane. Because my dad's bigger than your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you mean my dad's richer than your dad. Yeah, my my dad's are, like, the richest parents in the world. It's great. Um, if, um, if if Bron hadn't been playing for so long, I would, I would like Karina's chances in a fight. But I'm well aware that he has many more skill points than Karina's been. <laughs> So. I think it's the fact that he fights with a spear as well. But yeah, it it would it would be interesting. Um I look forward to seeing how your hall react to me. Yeah. Next um time. there was a very funny moment with uh, a member of the hall, Rowan, asking me I can't remember the what the word used was, it might have been saucy. <laughs> like how how saucy is this letter? And 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 he kind of he was like, Okay, so what I was like, I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's private. It's personal. Like, I'm not going to let you read. Like, it's not. It's not. It's not saucy. Leave it alone, right? She was being very defensive about it, and he's like, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna like draw a scale, and you're gonna say when. So if this is the, you know, this is like, it's a very saucy letter, and this is not at all. And he's like, okay, and beep when I get there. <laughs> so I kind of beeped about here, like about three quarters of the way up, and he was like, that saucy. <laughs> it was very funny. Wasn't like the shock. Saucy. The shock around the campfire. Oh my god, you've let the whole hall read it, haven't you? No, I haven't let it. I don't think I've let anyone in the hall read it. I let some strangers in a tent read it. I was a bit drunk by then. Oh my I, god. Uh, Can you imagine I... someone coming up to me going, Did you write this letter? <laughs> They'll be like, Excuse me, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> This wasn't very wise of you, was it? <laughs> Mention this letter again and I will literally kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Tony says, my dad was the richest. Yes, your dad was the richest. We know. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Um, yeah. I, I look forward to do, seeing a lot of this sort of stuff. But like, yeah. as, as has been said, we're like 27 days away from it now. So, 
really and you get to meet your sister. Your I'm really sister. excited. Yeah, or hopefully multiple sisters, but I'm very excited about the one that's actually related to Steve. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be. It will be fun. It will be good. Uh, so, did you do the new player skirmish, and how was the introduction to combat? I think John knows the answer to this one already. Yes, I did the new player skirmish. What introduction to combat? Oh, uh, I, don't think I, I don't think I did any combat. Uh... So Dave has just missed all of our little chat. Dave, how <laughs> could you? How could you? Do you know the funny thing is, Dave, is that she says that she's a bit of a wanderer. Some might say a bit of a rambler, you know? Oh, no. <laughs> I know where that's going. Um, yeah, so I did do the new player skirmish, yeah, sort of. I, I went to the new player skirmish, <laughs> and... Um, was it good? You enjoy it? They, 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 yeah, it, it was really... They split us into groups, right. and they were like, okay, go on, yeah, yeah. charge. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, I'm supposed to be playing my character, so I just went, ah! <laughs> like, ran in there, and not not three seconds after I like got to the line, I fell over on the floor, spraining my ankle. So yeah. There we go. Um, then I had to hobble around for the rest of the weekend with a sprained ankle. Apparently they take eight weeks to heal, so I'm hoping I can combat next um, next event, but I might not be able to combat next event. Which will result in Inga spending a lot of money to uh, bolster the armies of Wintermark in any way she can, because she's very much let's kill all the barbarians. So You'll be fine. As long as you can walk, jump, lunge you'll be you, I'm, you know your body better than anything else exactly. so if you think you can do it then you do it i wouldn't go into a battle now but i am going to a combat practice on sunday um Ooh. i'll uh you know i'm gonna be sensible obviously like uh on the ankle but i'm gonna almost see where i am <laughs> With so it. many people. Oh, that was you. Finally, a face to the sprained ankle yeah, story. Yeah, I'm sprained ankle. So, you're famous. Well done. Like, to be famous for something that isn't just spraining my ankle five seconds into the new player's go. And then all weekend, I had to be like, oh yeah, the physics said this. <laughs> said I'm not allowed to do anything. Basically. So. Yeah. The, yeah. um... Did you go into the new player meet at the hub, and did you find it useful? Yes, and yes. I didn't get any sweets though. They passed lollipops around, and they mm. never came to me, and I was really upset. Yeah. Hi, Shintact. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, when you didn't go to the one that I was at, did you? No. no. I went to the one, the second one, the one after went to that. The second one, yeah, because. The... Um, at which point there was nothing left for the hefty fam to give away because you apparently got mobbed. They got the first absolutely one. mauled. <laughs> and it all went straight away. So, and everybody was really, really happy. It's um, good though. It's I, nice. I, f I found one pouch when I was unpacking. Uh, and it was a nice green one. And I thought, ooh, that's nice. But I've promised it to another new player. Uh, <sighs> so, um, Hannah can have that at the next event. So, mm. um, because she missed out on it. So, I've said she could have it. Oh, I've got the hiccups now. Oh dear. I really like my little um little notebook that Tim sorted out for that for those uh, for the new players. I did not get any of it, and I was thinking to myself, I'm going to keep one of these things, eat one each of these things because they're really really nice. Gave it all away, and then I had to go to Darkblade and buy myself a potion I... pouch that we had to give away. But this had a bigger potion bottle on it. And then um, I broke it immediately. I used it for the first time, and as I pulled on it to take it off, I ripped it in half. That's really annoying. So, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> so, but never mind. I have, I have a potion pouch, which I didn't use because I didn't go into combat because I had a sprained ankle. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Then it's probably for the best, isn't it? Because look what happened to Caitlin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So funny. It, you've got to laugh. You've got it, to laugh. It, it's. I'm very sad for Mike, but it is also absolutely hilarious. It, it really is. I mean, so like, 
when I went off to find Andrew, um, we just we just couldn't keep it together. So in character, I was like, Alazar, my my friend Kaylin has died. We just kind of looked at each other and tried not to laugh, and we just gave we, we couldn't we couldn't yeah we couldn't hold it together. It was too yeah, funny. There's a little funeral thing going around, and people were saying, "Oh, this person's died. This person's died." And then they said, "Oh, this guy Kalen's died as well." He said it was his first time at Anvil. I was just like, "What? Really?" Uh, yeah. I had to go off into the tent, and I pissed myself laughing. Yeah, you can't help it. It was the first skirmish as well. Yeah, that you went. It was on. first skirmish. I believe I it will was. I say this for Mike. Fight. He did insanely well, from what I have heard, because he travelled the the length and breadth of Anvil, putting on his armour to go to that skirmish. So he did incredibly well to do all of that and then get there. It's just a shame he died. <laughs> oh, God. Poor, K- poor Colon. Um, poor Colon. Poor Colon. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was, was just these sorts of things that happened. He was just sweet, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame I never met him. Yeah. But I'm going to meet Mike's new character, I'm sure. Oh, definitely. And, um... Oh, my God, he's your cousin, isn't he? Apparently not. Yeah. That's fun, though, because, um... Ingevar doesn't know. And Inga has no intention of telling him. So, um... Essentially, me. What what I'm saying is, me and Mike have pre-planned an argument, which will be quite fun. So, yeah, don't do it when I'm around. It will depend entirely on the circumstances under which Inga Ingvar finds out about the uh, the truth of Inga's parentage. And yes, they are called Ingvar and Inga because the imaginative parent. Yeah. Yeah, it was your mum's fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, well, Ingvar is Inga's cousin on her dad's side. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that we're not related. <laughs> uh, me and Mike characters. Yeah. That's uh, yes. yeah. That would be. Yeah, I don't know. I need. I need to. I, I. There's a lot of a lot of personal role plays happen because with Mac, I don't get personal role play as much. Mm. It's all big stuff that goes on, so it's quite nice to have. A lot of this sort of stuff happening uh, around now. So my other in-character daughter, um, Gigi, didn't I didn't get to dawn. I, well, I got to dawn once, and I caused an argument, and then I left. Inga met her. You met Gigi. I remember it. what's her character's name. Um, I do know it. I do know her character's name. Anyway, they met um, out, outside the orcs camp. Um, but obviously, neither of them. No. knew what me and Gigi knew and it was like it was cute it was it was good it was a good moment yeah i need to make a point see it in our eyes like that we were like ah! yeah I, I need to get over to that house in dawn and then just go and sit there and just basically go you look really familiar you should take inga's advice and make sure that all your kids know know who they are Kalis, that's the one yeah Kalis, Kalis. thank you yeah i do know that in character but steve's memory is terrible so Steve, you fuck, dude. Kids coming from every direction. I know, I know. It's fun. It's fun, and I like the thing I like the most about it is that it gives, uh, it gives other, it gives players a new, a sort of an in into the game as well. Mm. So, like for like, if you or Gigi uh, were struggling with anything in game, someone was coming up to you and saying or doing anything, there is always this absolute I mean, bell end of a character that you can come back to the fire and just go this this person is saying or doing this sort of stuff to me and then i can just it, then i'll go and deal with it it goes further than that because like if i'm completely at a loose end like midday saturday and i have no idea what to do i'm like oh you know this event isn't really throwing anything up for me nothing's happening i can just wander over to the two feet and be like is there anything i can do for the fam Anything anyone needs a hand with, you know? They will nick all your potions. That's about it, really. <laughs> but uh, the point is, you've got somewhere to go. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey, you got some game for me? <laughs> There's, yeah, the two feet are involved in quite a lot in the Navarre. Um, and a little bit in League. Um, Mac the Boogeyman. <laughs> yeah, I... Yeah, Mac, I, it was really weird having that uh, Navarre... Uh, come round and I paid his fine for him 
and then he was just like yeah it was um yeah just being there and then he asked for my name and i told him my name he used to go he going oh shit you're mac <laughs> fuck i'm gonna have to pay you back then aren't i he was like yeah i'll kill you he's like yeah. Ooh, okay <laughs> so yeah it's um, nice. i have this reputation which is nice i like that see that was the other cool thing inga didn't know anything about mac just nothing like she hadn't heard anything about him so she was going in completely blind so she has formed all her opinions based on the very little that she knows about him but because mac is known it's going to be really cool to hear bits and pieces over the kind of year years hopefully she's gonna last more than a year <laughs> i hope so i do hope It'll so be cool. yeah she could be like uh mac what what is this thing that someone was saying about you what have you done yeah that would be the other side as well it'll be like mm -hmm. people in, in battles and stuff like that it's like yeah mac's great he does all of this sort of stuff and then it'll be away from it or it's like yeah mac what a prick yeah stay yeah. the fuck away from him he's he's not good you know that right um don't talk to yana in character because She's the steward of my hall, and yeah, she doesn't like me very much. <laughs> She's also played by Helen. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is Helen coming? Yes. Because I was like, yes. I was kind of like a little bit sad that I didn't get to meet Helen last night. Yeah, yeah. COVID, unfortunately, took everything out for everybody. Yeah. So, but... yeah, top lady. Top lady, indeed. <laughs> so, yeah, um... so she will be there as well. So, her and Lily will be there on the Friday. I'll be on um, Thursday. So, so um, I went. I got to go to the orc camp very briefly. Mm. Uh, and I know that Matt has said this to literally everyone, but like, if you can find an excuse to go to the orc camp, go to the orc camp. It's amazing. It's so cool. It's the the, the whole place is you know the whole anvil field is quite atmospheric and you, you feel very um immersed. But when you walk into the orc camp, it's like you've walked into the orc nation. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, definitely do it. Um, it was so <laughs> it was so um, atmospheric that when Inga and Rowan walked in, I think they walked about five paces down the path before Inga turned to Rowan and was like, "Do you want to hold hands?" <laughs> and Rowan was like, "Yeah, I really do." Yeah. <laughs> so it was cute. Yeah, it's the Night of Worth next event. Mm -hmm. So it's the Orc Festival. Um, so I need to I need to really make a point on going um, to the Orcs because I need to. I know so many people out of character at the Orcs. So I need to go there on the Thursday to see them all because the Orc camp is just incredible. Um, and it was very nice to see Fal in character, even though Inga doesn't didn't know, and was doing something completely unrelated. So I didn't get to introduce myself. But I was like, "No, it's Fal." Mm. Yes, yeah, it's it's really nice because certain orcs have reputations, and and players have reputations and stuff like that. So my my thought of Matt and Fal was this six foot three guy. Tall. I knew he was. I knew he was. I knew he was lanky. I knew he was skinny. But this tall, skinny guy, would be walking around, and then I met them, and it's like, yeah, oh, I'm just put you Aww. in my pocket. But absolutely, yeah, I love Max. Everyone's pieces. tall to me. And and Fal only ever asked for money. <laughs> yeah. Um, I found out what Fal's salary is, and was like, "What do you do with all that, Matt?" <laughs> mm. That was quite quite funny it's so, yeah yeah i need need to go to the orcs i need to go to that festival uh we're being too interesting i forgot i had a brew on it's a bit strong now well you enjoyed <laughs> that phone fox you enjoyed that just disappointing in real life definitely not matt absolutely not far from it loved your dungarees yes dungaree club dungaree club i need to invest in some dungarees i, I have discovered yeah so that's um, uh, the Hefty Fam Dungaree Club. Uh, you just have to. It's it's very simple. You just have to turn up on the Thursday in dungarees. It's not it's not complicated. I'll get Lily some dungarees. She'll fit yes. in wonderfully, and that she'll be more hyper than she'll have more energy than everyone combined. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, no, she she Lily will be turning up on Friday, but that's she'll... the other thing. I'm I'm now really excited to see other new players have their first experience because mm. before I had my first experience, it was like all consuming. And now I'm yes. like, I really want to watch other people do that. I'm really excited about that. 
going to be good. And I've got friends that I want to bring. Like, my, my partner's going to come, not this year because he has work, but um, in future at some point. <laughs> Two of my best friends are going to come. Another friend wants to come. I just, I can't wait to see them in this, Anvil for the first time. Yeah, th this is this is the thing. This is something I actually I was going to bring up. It's, we've now had all of these new players turn up and they've done their thing and they've had a wonderful time. So let's let's look for the second wave now. Let's... Get everyone to bring their new players, bring them to the Discord, bring them to the stream, bring them to the game, because there are more. That's m more new players that we can help, we can give stuff to, and we can pay it forward again. So because yep. this is just how it keeps on growing, and hopefully it will snowball from here, and it will be, um, yeah, it'll be great. Uh, feel free to watch me make a fool of myself at E two. I know what you're doing, Biscuit. So you are not going to make a fool of yourself unless the civil war happens, in which case I may kill you. This is all in um, character. I don't. I, don't I, 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 said anything. I deny that there is any possibility of any civil war, and <laughs> I think we should all get along and be friends. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Not in, in character. That's like... No. Again, in character, that's really important to Inga. Inga is like, the important things to me are my friends, my hall, and my nation. Like, those are her, like, those are the things that she is loyal to. Mm. So. Yeah. I'm, she I'm... does not, there is no, like, I am nation, I am loyal to the Suak and my na it, it the nation, like, completely encompassing. She sees no difference. I mean, she's, she's, she sees a difference in that she thinks everyone who's not a Suic, um is less smart than her. But other than that... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on there with <laughs> visions and everything. And I'm loving every second of it. Um, yeah. But it's... Yeah, it's nice to hear everyone's opinions on the vision. And it seems like yeah. a lot of people have the same opinion. And the... Um, the Suak don't have the same opinion on what the visions mean and i'm liking this a lot yeah to the point of where i'm not going to name any names but i've had a certain uh certain fairly high ranking suak people come up to me and say if it does go pear-shaped don't don't go for it don't go out and kill and murder suak on the spot wait i'm like, it's like no promises and it's like, would you like, did you kill this person? Would you kill this person? And it's like, yes. I'm like, oh. And now, two of my daughters are Suak. Members, three members of my hall are Suak. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. You don't have a single Calabasi child yet. No, I know. Even my real daughter doesn't want to play a Calabasi. <laughs> <laughs> so... <sighs> It's because we're the best. We're the best tradition. Uh, it seems obvious. Well, you're not, but I I oh, love yeah. the swamp witch stuff. I do love. I love the Calabasi. I really, really do. They were the only ones that appealed. Calabasi so, was. It, it was very much Suak or Calabasi. I have to admit. Yes. Steiner are really cool, and I I do love the brief, but it just wasn't for me. You know. Uh, please no hugging the frost beast. He may be very smiley, but no. But definitely hug the Krampus, because that's totally safe and a good idea. All smelly and swampy. Yep, yeah, very much so. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in Semisuak, and there's a lot of plot up there. I'm not gonna. I can't say because it's all find out in play, but there's a yeah. lot of stuff going on in there, and um, yeah, it could be very, very interesting. That's for sure. Uh, but then again, you never know. I might not survive the next event because obviously I've got the challenge, the Iron Duke coming up, and um, yeah. the two man skirmish. I'm now going on on my own. So, yeah. Hooray! Yay! Pff, I need to write my will. <laughs> yeah. Basically, don't I? So, but yeah, there's loads of stuff. It's going to be really, um, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really, really interesting. So, let, let's let's move away from Mac and Inga's relationship. Um, and how strained it is. How um... really strained it is. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, not being super specific, specific, but find out in play. But big nope. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Gonna need a friendly healer when you're back. Yeah. So John's asked, "What's the best story from the event? Your be- What's your best moment? Or we'll give you top three. T- top three best moments." Oh, I should have written down a top three. I've written like loads of notes and then completely g- ignored them. <laughs> um. So I'll just go for like moments I like. They're not necessarily my top three, but they're just things I remember. Yeah. Um. One genuinely one of some of the. <laughs> The most just like light-hearted fun I had all weekend was um, just walking down the path besides the library and Gaspar's kind of coming down the road with this game that I won't say the name of on stream. Oh, um... <clears throat> it's, um... I don't, there's no other word you can use for it to not sound how it sounds. Yeah, just say it. It's, fine. it's a game where you try to pull people over. Okay. Yeah, yank him off. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was so much fun. And I was like, everyone needs to do this because it was just really fun. And Gaspar, Gaspar's just really good at it. I won't, totally. I won't ruin it for him. But uh, <laughs> he has a technique and it works. Um, but Excellent. by the time, by the time Inga's friend Finise had a go, she'd been watching long enough. <laughs> All I've heard is yank. Yeah, um. By the time that uh, Finise got to have her go, uh, she'd been watching him long enough to, to realise what Gaspar's technique was. Um, and I can't remember if she won or not, but I believe that she was. Uh, she did very well, much better than the rest of us idiots did. So that was really fun. Um, something that I heard about, but I wasn't there for, was uh, when I was off trying to meet the Krampus and like deal with the thing I'd gotten myself into mm. um, the the hall was around the campfire um, just you know having a chill evening and someone came by and said that the reaper was on the move and so they were like oh no the reaper's on the move and then uh, sort of 10-20 minutes after I'm not sure how long after it was um, the Krampus comes by and he's like talking to them <laughs> Apparently they all just completely shat themselves because they were like, "Oh my god, it's the Reaper! We're all gonna die," um, which was fun. Yeah, the, the Reaper was amazing. The Reaper was absolutely <laughs> incredible. Uh, I, I was too busy waiting for the Krampus. <laughs> I, I heartily encourage everybody to go to all of the nation's festivals. Um, I, I believe even Broken Wheel has been looked at as a festival now, and it's changed. So the I... high guard thing, the procession that they do, <laughs> the, uh, the walk of the cool. dead. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, they marched straight through the Reaper festival. Yeah, apparently, didn't, apparently there was there was a little bit of an argument going on in places. So you know, but it's high guard; no one cares. Uh, can the Reaper be killed? Ooh. Uh, I probably wouldn't try. <laughs> There's a lot of people there. So I like the Navarre Spring Festival. That's a really good festival. Uh, I've never been to um, the Orc um, of Wor- the Night of Worth. And I need to. And I've been meaning to go to that for years now. I actually have to m- pull my finger out and make an effort here. Um, I really like I, to do that. I need to do that. Um so there's loads and loads of stuff okay so that's so seeing the krampus then that was mm-hmm. your the, the krampus was a massive highlight just the the yeah. the like suit that the krampus wears is so good yeah it's so good and it just i just believed that that was the krampus there was no like this is a human in a costume it was that's the krampus like mm. It, yeah, it was really good, and of course, I was in this this tent with these people who, and we'd been like, we we we'd all been waiting for the Krampus and bitching about the Krampus's timekeeping for like hours. <laughs> so by the time the Krampus got there, it was like, oh my god! Did the show give like, okay, a lot of people this to do? I don't know. Inga doesn't know. Beth doesn't know. Hmm. But I know. What I do know is that the shaman was very interested in um, the information that he wanted people to get from the shaman, yeah. from the Krampus, so it's entirely possible. Yeah, it is that, it's information that's been mooted a lot. 
mm -hmm. in the field. So yeah, um, that's good. Well, I, 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 look, I look forward to seeing. Also. Wow. I highly doubt it was just her that travelled the information though, because you know. Yeah, I look forward to seeing where that one ends up then. Mm. Okay, so that that's your, that's that's your top one. So what's next? This was so good. Um. Another little one, but uh, Inga found out that her friend was Swoon of the Season. Ooh, who was that? Uh, Osric. Oh, fuck's sake, Osric. <laughs> so, uh, she then, she didn't see him until about ten minutes before time out, when I, like, locked eyes with Osric and was like, I went over and I just, fiz I swooned. And apparently Inga was his first swoon. <laughs> Which was an honour, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Connor. Um, Need to swoon. Oh yeah. I, um, I like. Yeah. Him. After timeout, Jamie did swoon as well. It was good. I like Osric because Osric just comes up to me and just says, "You know what you do, and you we that's it. Just go and do your thing, and I get left alone." Yeah. So that's I. So I've 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 got more respect for Osric than. He's probably the my second favourite general in that entire field. Mm -hmm. High so, praise. Well, yeah, it is, but mainly because he gives me what I want. <laughs> um, possibly my favourite part, though. So my third one would be. Um, I, I I don't know if I would put this top possibly, but it was joining the hall. Yeah. We did our like joining oath. And it was amazing. Oh, you actually did the oath as well. And then, so uh, we we you know we spoke the oath in front of the hall mm -hmm. and uh, and around the fire, and it was really nice. And it was um, Inga and Rowan were both joining at the same time. Yeah. Um. And then our very responsible Thane gave us a very high percentage shot of alcohol as part of the ceremony. <laughs> So then, in the morning, when we trundle over to God, and the lady in the God tent was like, you need to tell me the oath, we just looked at each other like, do you remember anything that happened last night? I don't remember anything that happened last night. <laughs> they must get that a lot. Um, but we, lot. we muddled it together between us, and it was just a really nice moment. And there's, there's more people joining the hall um, next season, and probably the season after that, we've got a whole list of people who are going to join the hall, and they're all absolutely wonderful it was like you you go like I, I went to the event um and uh six of these people i i had never i didn't know um several i i knew through the yeti discord and through um the the whole facebook stuff but um mm. at, at least six of them i didn't know so I kind of went into it like, oh, I know these people and I'm I'm kind of want to join the hall, but, I, you know, I want to hang out in real life, you know, do all that good yeah. stuff. And, like, when I left on the Sunday, I was like, these ten people are my best friends and I would die for them. <laughs> Jesus. Like, so I think someone said to, um, to Ian that the field creates very strong bonds. I was like... Oh, it does. Yeah, 100%. It really does. When, yeah, Jamie did. Jamie did recruit them. Jamie yeah, recruited when, when you see at people, least when three you of them. People. Sorry, go on. Jamie recruited at least three of them. He just found some new winter markers and like brought them to our fire and was like, "Here you go." And now they're joining, and it's great, and they're they're wonderful. I heard the yeah. fellow scouse accents. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's when you meet people in that field, you do become, you, you get to know people very quickly. Mm -hmm. And you know immediately if you're going to get on or not. So yeah. I, I met I met a few people for the first time actually yeah, on on there. So um, hope well hope they can if they put their fingers in their ears they know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but if uh, yeah, Bolam and Tiny, it's it's like we just clicked and it was really really nice. It was it was just a lot of fun chatting away to them and it's like the role play wasn't pushed it wasn't forced it was just easy and it was really really nice and then obviously i went to the longest johns with bolum and digby and um and goose as well was there smith and it was a great time and it was just like you know you're just going to get on with people yeah so it's like i've got another place where i can just go yeah i can just turn up and i know that it'll be a nice chilled moment i can just sit down and chill and chat Mm -hmm. And it's really, really good. So you do meet a lot of people like that. 
It's it's a little bit like the uh, the freshers effect when you move to uni. You meet a, you meet a lot of people and you're spending a lot of time with them, mm. like a lot, a lot, nearly all day, every day for you know, in the case of LARP, three days. And so by the end of that three days, you know if this person is going to be a part of your, you know, your roleplay or not. You know yeah. if they're going to be part of your Anvil experience. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, Tiny. No one likes you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I need to throw Tiny in the field, so... <sighs> That's a great one. I like that. Um... It's... I can't yeah. tell if it's a troll or not, but I, you know. I don't know. But I, e honestly, either way, I like it. Yeah, I, I really like that. Are you trying to outboring each other? Um, well, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, I'm really it's a, leaning into the nerdness right yeah, now. Yeah, it is like essentially when you're a cunt, it's you know it comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's phenomenal. That's so good. That's um, really, really good. I'm going to have to use that insult in the field, I think. <laughs> oh, that's no. You know how in the new player meet, they're like, give people three chances. Yeah, three chances. Instead of three chances, you could just say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. That's yeah, absolutely good. fantastic. I love it. I can't. Tell, I really can't tell if that's trolling or not, because... Oh, okay. What? I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, I haven't got a clue what that means either. But, you know, we'll roll with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we expand on our friend's conversation? Um, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know what's happened with that one at all. But, you know, I, I, if, if you're trolling us, then you're doing an incredibly That's bad great. job of it. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty poor. Um, but yeah, we're having a tiny on an alt. Yeah, it really is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, yeah, Tony and Bonham are wonderful people, and it's just chilling and chatting, and it's just talking bollocks and being offered the wrong <laughs> illegal drugs in character. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, didn't you say that you didn't get to take many icy drugs? Yeah, I didn't at all. Oh. I didn't at all. I didn't take any. Um, but That's going to be thing because Inga is like you know throws caution to the wind and is like I will do anything yeah but Beth is not brave enough for Inga to get involved in anything yet because I don't think I could pull off the roleplay um, but maybe one day that would be quite fun I think uh... oh account created three hours ago Cheers, Helen. Um, <laughs> uh, so they've gone. The worst... I, th I, I think I have to say, I have to mark them down. I think everyone in chat will agree, and my mods, that is the worst troll I have ever seen. I liked it because it was funny. It exactly, wasn't Exactly, that's the point. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, fair that point. Was yeah. awful. Come on. Twitch trolls have really gone downhill. They lack creativity. Not entertaining. Yeah, I mean, at least it was so <laughs> lame I wasn't sure. I know. But yeah, they created their account three hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Tiny. It, Look, what have you done? It's, it's, um. <laughs> yeah, it's not, uh. Yeah, that's, that's a trial account. That's a trial account. They've turned up to do this, to do nasty shit, but they weren't very nasty. No. I'm tempted Aww. to go off into other people's channels and do wholesome heckling. That'd be so good. Yeah, it's like I know you. This doesn't mean anything to you, but this is wonderful, and I'm really enjoying it. Mhm. Mm Your hair is on point. Or oh, do my favorite. <laughs> my favorite thing in the field is you've got a wonderful beard. Oh, there's so many good beards in the field, though. There really, really are. So. so I could kind of like vague question for you Steve how in depth do you get with your like character knowledge slash prepping because very recently Mike and I made a family tree I which is the furthest tree. I've ever gone I, and I, I'd like to know how in depth you get I do have a we the two feet have a family tree um so we, we see how everyone's related yeah um we have got um 
people wouldn't know how to take a troll who compliments everyone. Very, very much so. It's it's a great it's the best kind of troll. Um I think I mean for me within 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 the two feet as an example, we have got our um our three main founders of the two feet. No one knows who the the founder of the two feet is. But we we all came up with so me, Justin and Kit, we all came up with one founder. So you've got uh, Filch, Two Feet, you've got the one Kit came up with, who I can't remember the name of, and you've got Argus, which is the one I came up with. Um, and they've all got, everyone has a different story of where the Two Feet came from as well. This is all worth asking the Two Feet in character as well, because all the stories are different. Then, you basically, we worked our way down to where we are, and people... A lot of people, if they want to play an actual family member, will go, well, I'll be related to you in this way. And you'll say, right, you fit in here. And then we'll work out how they how it all comes in. So basically, the, the family tree, essentially we joke, is that it's a circle. So, but it all works really, really well as well. So I, I, we go that in depth. So I know my parents' names. Uh, I know my grandparents' names. Uh, I know my brother's names, my sisters, my cousins, my uncles and stuff. Uh, I know my history. I know what I've, got, I've, I've done. I know good things I've done. I know bad things that I've done. Uh, I know things that I could be put on trial for. I know things that um, I could be, I could be um, uh, an exemplar for. I, I know things that I get really rewarded for. But this is all stuff that makes your character. So... But this isn't something that I've sat down and thought, right, my first event, I want to know all of this information. Because you could do... Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. You could do what Mike did and turn up and his character's dead. Your character's dead straight away. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no point. You you come up with a basic character concept. And I have found that the more interactions I have with people the more my character grows. So when... Have you had your skine read? No, but the uh, the shaman does now owe Inga a favour. You need to And I've heard that read. that's a good experience. It's an incredible experience. He's done it twice for me. And yeah, like, it just gets... It's amazing. It is so it's, incredible. It's very, it's very Inga to, like, save it and, like, do something for Samusuak with it instead of something for herself. No, so, you need to do something for yourself with that. That is a that's a that's a great piece of roleplay. You will absolutely adore it. You will love it. Um, I I it's like it, it would actually to be fair it would make sense because obviously Inga has discovered that her her roots are not what she thought yeah. they were. So it would be really interesting actually. I think she probably mm. could do with speaking to people about her sky. And oh now. yeah, speak to shaman immediately. Straight away, find him, do it. First thing. And Just it's... listen for the sound of the creepy drums and follow it. Uh, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. But the more you talk to people and the more questions that people ask you in character about your family, your your history, your back your background and stuff, if it's not written down, you have to make it up. You come up yeah. with it and it's like, well, what would fit in? And it's really, <laughs> really quick. And then it grows from there. So Mac has taken like seven, seven, eight, nine years to grow to where he is. Yeah. Which is great. And his Mac has become a very, very in-depth character. Um, I need, I need to go and talk to Shaman and tell him his story that I owe him. Which is, which is pretty cool. Because and then I'm gonna get him to do my skying again. Yeah. Because so much has changed. <laughs> so much has happened. Um I find character background restrictive. I always try and chart a character story from the first step in the game. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm that's I think I'm, I think we're saying the same thing but in different ways, Matt. I think so my background has been written because of what I've done in game. So it's sort of affecting everything so we've got a reason for things to have happened that's pretty much what I'm, I'm saying 
but it's Thank nice to plan the story from point A to where I am now. As a new character, kind of the only thing you need to know is why are they at Anvil? Why are they here? Why are they in this LARP? It's not even for Empire, but just for mm. any LARP. Honestly. Why are they here? What, yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah. Or not, not necessarily why, but how? Just some reason that, you know, you can then move off of. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Kat has said, uh, uh, Empire, Empire seems like a really fun LARP. It makes me sad that because uh, it is across the pond, going to it would be financially impossible for me. So yeah. Sad. There's, I mean, I was talking to Kaza um, on the Tuesday, uh, Kaza Marie, and we were talking about that. And we were talking about there's a few, there's loads of other people from America and Canada who want to come to Empire, but it's a bit, it's a bit difficult because of finances and stuff. But it might be a case of if everybody's sort of um, getting together and planning on traveling together, staying together, do everything together, because it makes everything cheaper. So like an Airbnb near Empire, instead of a hotel which costs you 70 quid a night, an Airbnb which costs you 15 quid a night, it all works out really, really well. So that might be worth looking at there, Kaz. Kaz? Cat. Sorry. But yeah, I mean, if I can help in any way, chuck us. If you're on the Discord, ping me a message and I'll, and I'll, I can, I'll, I'll help in any way that I can. I like bringing people together. So. And uh, we've recently discovered that if you want to get all your kit on the field for a minimal cost, you can get all your kit on the field for a minimal <laughs> really cost. Minimal cost, yeah. Yes. The uh, I've nearly finished the editing now, so. Um, so I find that having anything uh, finite or. Uh, Distinct in your backstory can limit your field choices. I love deciding in the moment what my character's opinions are on a subject, so it generates the best game in the mo in that moment. Yeah, no, hundred percent yeah. agree. A hundred percent agree. Think, um, it can be good to know something. I mean, it presumably depends on the player, but um, having one good story that you know is something your character's experienced or something like that can be really helpful. Because that can then um, inform how you then roleplay in the moment and what decisions you make in the moment. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work for everyone, but that's what helped. That's what's helped me knowing about just a couple of things that my character has experienced. Yeah. When Mac first turned up into the field, he was bringing cake to say a family member had died. And that was it. So 100% each to their own. Some people like to have something to play from. Other players enjoy jumping before they look. Yeah. There's no right or wrong answer. No, definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. A lot of people prefer uh, like a, a foundation to work from, and that they they they're quite they like that. And a lot of and I know people who like uh, my friend Kit, for example. He likes to set up in the field with a very very small list of backstory written. And like a lot, he knows what family he's in. That's it, and who he's related to. That's all he's got. And then he'll his character will grow from that. Well, that's you know, you can absolutely just turn up and people will role play with you. But yeah. knowing who you can specifically go to for a bit of role play, like so, being related to someone or whatever connection, connections are very useful to make. You don't yeah. necessarily need them going in. You can make them in the field, but they're handy to have. Yeah, I'm quite the same right now. Just a small background, knowing my direct family. Yep, works really, really well. Biscuit, it really, really does. Um, I mean, Hurst Hall. We've got a lot of people around us, but we've only got four members of the hall. <laughs> so it's a it's strange. I mean, even Grim isn't even a member of Hurst Hall. It's because <laughs> our thing. Our loving, our loving benefactor <laughs> has only sworn in uh, him, um, Gallen, me, and Helen. They're the only people. We're the only people in the hall. It's. Really... I wouldn't. I would have never known the Grim wasn't in the hall. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It just he hasn't been sworn in yet. No one, no one has, <laughs> apart from I mean, us four. It's like... bizarre. We've got like I don't want to call them stragglers because they're absolutely joining, but we've got people who are not yet in the hall who are like in the hall Discord, you know. 
Oh yeah. Oh, they're in the Discord, but they're not sworn into the hauling character yet. So yeah. when it comes to making decisions in game, there's only four people who has a voice. And my voice is ignored because, you know, they're sensible. I heard there was uh, a, yes, there was a reeb whipping initiation. You you have heard correctly, Biscuit. Um there's also honey involved and lots of nudity. So it's just the Hurst Hall way. Well, mainly it was Smith's idea. It's what he enjoys on the weekends. Yeah. Um, so, but still. Um, so we've been going for an hour and 50. So I'm going to ask you one last question because we've gone on for like half hour longer than I normally like to. Um, I've forgotten the question. <laughs> I haven't forgotten the question. It's been that long that you just can't. Phil, you know. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Al. It was really nice to see you in the battle, actually. I was well having a lot of fun um, being a runner. You you were all over the shop. You did really well. Um, so, E2 is not very far away. So excited. What are you looking forward to? Do you love your daddy? Mark, it's for fuck's Oh, sake. why? <laughs> um... What are you looking forward to the most when you get back into the field? Give us your okay. top three things that you are looking forward to doing. So my immediate instinct, as gross and cringe as it is, is that I just want to see all my friends. I'm really excited to hang out with the hall and see my friends who are not in the hall. So like Mike and Andrew and just all sorts of people. But... In character? Yeah. Yeah. So they're characters. Okay. Okay. No, that's yeah, cool. I, I just, I just, I just want to roll through my friends. It's just, I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah. I'm um, not disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Sorry, wow. carry on. That sorry, that was in character stuff coming out there. Uh, um, one thing that Inga did not get to do at E1 that she wanted to do is acquire more um, miscellaneous smut from the field. Um, she didn't find any, none whatsoever. That was Liam. Um, Bought it all. But I need to find my uh, my orc friend who sold me orc nudes and purchase some more orc nudes. Because <laughs> they're really good. <laughs> um, yeah. And I want to fight. I really, really want to fight. I'm really excited about it. As kind of nervous as I am of losing Inga, mm. I, I want to do it. It looks like loads of fun and it's frankly really important to my character she she really 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 wants to kill all the all of the Jotun and get Soma Surak back that's like that's a huge thing for her so yeah we'll do that. What needs? I wanted to hang out with your friends is cringe I think, I think it was the Iron Tide that I bought the nudes from actually. probably, I can't probably. Um... You sprain your ankle. Um, my ankle is already sprained you can't you can't sprain your ankle if you've already got a sprained ankle. I mean, next step's breaking it. Oh. <sighs> um. Iron tide bracken. Uh, oh no, that's a good point. I have got two ankles. I could sprain the other one. So, uh, Carton, yeah, uh, hanging out with your friends is cringe. Um, yeah, it it, <laughs> meant as meant in the nicest possible way. It really, really is. Just, uh, yeah, and I want to get to know the hall better. Yeah, because I'm the same. I look forward to seeing everybody when I get to it. It's one of my favourite things to do, just to see people. Like the first hour is spent saying hello. So, yeah. um, go wax some nerds in a field. Yeah. The other thing is, like, the first thing I'm not probably not quite the first thing I want to do on Friday, but like they call time in, and I'm like, right, where's Ingvar? I want to go shout at him, or where's Alazar? I want to go argue about him, argue with him about whether it's a boat or a ship. Mm. Because yeah. as far as he is concerned, they're all boats. There is no difference. I just had a thought as well about what I might do immediately in character. Mm. Mm. I think. Um, yeah, that'd be yeah. fun. My 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 first instinct is like I just want to be with my friends and That's chat really shit. Nice. I think that's what um, I think that's what a lot of people do because of COVID and everything. So having everything go back to the way it was is has been really really nice, and 
the first event was so busy. Um, and I've got so many Eternals to go and bother. It must feel a bit like starting again, because yeah. it's been so long. Yes, yeah, definitely. I mean, people who I knew really well in character don't know so well now in character. Um, so it's all changed quite a lot, really, in, in, in the best possible way. Um, they found new game, and you can't hold... You, you can't begrudge it for people. I think. No, I think everybody needs everybody's needs have changed. Uh, mm -hmm. People have changed because of COVID. So. Um, yeah, if I hadn't had to, you know, right before COVID, I was kind of getting to the stage financially and and commitment wise where I could finally go LARPing, and it it was Empire. I think for the past kind of about three years before the pandemic, I was like, I'm going to go to Empire one day. Um, and I, if I had gone, you know, two, two years ago, I, I would probably be a very different person, a very different role player. I'd probably be playing a very different character and, uh, and all that, you know? So I just had an email from discord with regards to the partner application. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Apparently, it's stupidly difficult to get accepted for. So uh, apparently, the Yogs cast it took three attempts. Exactly. So. Wow. Yeah, I know, but never mind. Um, well, there's always attempts two and three. <laughs> well, that was attempt two. So uh, I'd have a lot of problems with the combat E1. I appreciate it was my first event, so maybe it's me having difficulty adjusting. There's a lot of stuff there I find crazy. But also, you don't have to do if you don't enjoy it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Yes, yeah, basically, and yeah, just there'll be more than there's loads of people there who'll be willing to have a scrap with you, regardless. So, um, you can just practice. You can you can combat practice with friends. There's if you don't there's want to loads of them. Well. There's loads of them that go on around the country. Uh, I feel we're getting the main issue. No, Mark, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, also, those on the south coast, we're looking at the first weekend of June of doing a bit of a froth meet at the Hobbit Pub in Southampton. Mm -hmm. So maybe the Thursday or the Friday, because it's a, it's a long bank holiday, isn't it, that weekend? So, um, Helen's gone, no, we're looking at the bank holiday. Yes, I know, I just said the Thursday or the Friday. Nothing's finalised yet. Both of, them, both of them are bank holidays, yes, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I know, I changed it. I changed it. But still. So, yeah, so there's loads of stuff going on. Um, but, yeah, I'll I'll post it all. I know there's some stuff going on in, in Manchester the next few weeks. So, yeah. um... Practice, etc. Yeah. Let's have a... Oh. No one is streaming. No one I know is streaming. There's anyone online? No. No, there isn't. Yeah. It's Friday the 13th. I know a lot of people are having uh, horror evenings. So, uh, if it's the Friday, we'll travel down. Oh, don't tempt me, Frodo. I'm going to have a chat with Kit, who works there, and I'll see if we can get an area put to the side for us as well to do it if we get enough people i'll put something on the discord anyway so yes so anyway that's the stream uh a very long stream tonight sorry not sorry <clears throat> not sorry at all not sorry at all i i i think i think we've had a lot to work through <laughs> it's so sad <laughs> there. a lot of family trauma to deal with uh uh, so uh, you, you donate bits and you're on the stream yep it's tradition I have to donate bits this it's is just what yeah. I do um, bear with me do, do, do. Um, stop calling it that Jamie <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I've had a, 
a request to raid someone. I like to do this, so I'm going to. Yay. Uh, so thank you, uh, Jazz, for that. Great stream, lots of info. Um, this will be very chill. What we'll, we'll do before the event is we'll have, we'll do a proper new players one and, and stuff like that. Um, and we'll... Um, Near Manchester, yes. Yeah, but not yeah, so we'll do a proper new players chat and stuff like that as well. So any new players gets a gets a thing, can ask questions and things and stuff. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, uh, we're gonna raid someone called Kim Justice. Uh, thank you, Jazz, for suggesting that. I do like doing this sort of thing. Go and spread the love. Be as wholesome as you most possibly can. And, um, yeah, you all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all on Monday, uh, probably for another one like this. So, yeah, you all take care. And then I just stay here, because I don't know if this raid's worked. I don't know how long to wait or anything like that, so... Oh, uh, hang on, I can see there's a little timer ticking down, so at some point it'll we'll yeah, get caught. I think that's it. So, take care, everybody.